Hello, welcome to Inflatable Stop Authority. Today we are testing the Bluefin Cruise 10 foot 8 board. We're currently at White Rock Beach and some waves have actually just came in. So we're going to go to some sheltered waters and try this board out. But while we're in the waves, why don't we just try standing to see what happens. Maybe I fall in, maybe I don't, who knows. So right now, standing in wavy impressions, it's going all right. It's I'm standing anyway. Um, yeah, it's starting to feel pretty good. Just getting used to the waves, trying to hit it at a certain angle. I'm gonna try to go to the sheltered waters over here, and we're gonna do some proper stability, but. So far, the way is not too bad. For beginners, I maybe don't recommend starting out in these conditions, standing right away on this board when there's some waves like this, but nonetheless, it is doable. Okay, we're in more sheltered waters now. Just testing out the stability here. Board feels pretty good. Not too much adjusting I have to do on the fly here. So definitely be starting out, launch this board in calm water, try standing. Most beginners should at some point on their trip get used to standing. Um, the narrow nose might make the board a tiny bit more tippy, but the middle section of the board and the wider tail does help with stability. Now we're just gonna test the maneuverability of this board. We're gonna do some side paddles. Um, it should be noted that this board has only one center fin on it instead of the two side fins. So this will make it a lot more maneuverable. So this will be the test with just one center fin. So let's try it out. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About twelve, twelve and a half side paddles for one center fin. Pretty good. Now we're gonna try sweep strokes. All right, now we're gonna see how many sweep strokes till we hit that little hanger there. Four. Wow. That's actually pretty good, even for a center, just one center fin. I was expecting this board to be about like five or six, but four is actually really good. So if you want more maneuverability, especially when doing sweep strokes, reverse sweep strokes, I should say, take off the two side fins. All right, now we're going to try tracking in the Bluefin Cruise 10H with a single fin. So let's see what that does. And it should should keep in mind that if you have two side fins, the tracking will be a lot better, which is something we'll be testing in the future. So let's start get going and see how long each side. Let's shoot for the metal thing. So okay. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. Next one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yeah, so about four to five strokes per side. Um, 
you can argue. So now I try to catch up to my friends all the way over there. So I'll do a bit of speed paddling in the waves, see how that goes. So I'm catching up to the friends. So some of the impressions, the waves hitting the side of the board, just a few little hairy moments. I haven't fallen in yet, knock on wood. But once you kind of get used to the movements of the waves, kind of get used to how the board will behave. You can also see this beautiful white rock sunset we're having. I am fortunate to live in a pretty beautiful place, I must say. But now we're heading back to the launching point. So now we're gonna try the stability of the Bluefin Cruise 10H. So we're gonna try standing here. We, I stood a bit on it at White Rock Beach, but it was wavy conditions, so I didn't really wanna to judge too much in the stability, but now that the water is pretty calm, let's give it a shot. Okay. Yeah, so upon standing, the Bluefin Cruise feels pretty good. Um, didn't really have any wiggle. The only thing was, is trying to not <laughs> trip on the kayak seat, but I'm not gonna put that in the stability factor at all. So, just doing a little bit of back and forth. Yeah, there's a bit of play each end. Hmm. So I think for newer paddlers, it's good to just start testing your limits side to side a bit. So my thoughts as I'm paddling this board, uh, stability feels great. Feel, I feel planted on already for the most part. So I think it's a pretty good board for beginners in calm water conditions. In wavy conditions, I mean, you can try it, but as long as you're comfortable, you know, bailing off your board a time or two, I guess it builds character. So something that I kind of notice is that the paddle shaft, I feel it's a little bit too short for my ideal stroke. So for taller people, you may find that the max for this specific paddle shaft is a little bit too short. I like a little bit of a longer paddle personally when I'm just cruising. That's also because I injured my back a year and a half ago and I don't really wanna work it too, too much unless I'm doing some harder strokes. I also find that this handle here or sorry, this is smart lock. It gets in the way of kind of my ideal paddle, paddle stroke. I'd like to like, ideally have it like this, but it gets in the way, so I have to kind of adjust my hand like that. I also found that this thing keeps kind of coming undone. I mean, it doesn't really matter because there's the snap there anyway, but it's a little bit annoying to just have this flopping around a bit. I think it needs to be tightened. Now we're just gonna do some tracking tests. We aim for the blue boat over there. Usually aim for stuff, you can't really see it on the video, but nonetheless, there's a blue boat there. So let's see how it does. So starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, so I'll say about eight, that side. Try the other side. Get straight, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think there's some slight 
differences with the wind, I think. The wind is kind of interfering a little bit, so eight on one side, I'd say six on the other. So let's just make it an average of seven strokes a side, which is pretty good, actually. And that's thanks to the three fin setup that it has. I find boards with side fins, with the add-on side fins, not the little built-on plastic side fins, can just track a lot better. Usually at least like two to three strokes a slide easily. Now we're gonna build some speed and see how this board goes when you're paddling a little bit harder. Okay, so some impressions on that. I counted about six strokes aside. And I was paddling a little bit quicker. I was aiming for that gray boat there. And yeah, I kind of feel, is there something about this board's shape or profile or something where I find myself not getting the perfect paddle stroke that I like? I find from other boards. I find myself kind of hitting the edge here a bit more than I'm really used to. Maybe that's because I'm used to being slightly back a bit because the kayak seat is kind of taking up a little bit of the middle. Maybe it's also a combination of the paddle as well. Me feeling like it's a tiny bit short. So I feel like I have to kind of correct on some things perhaps. But from a speed perspective, I think Luffin Cruise is pretty good. It's not meant to be a speed demon, you know. I'm not recommending you enter your local stuff race with this because you'll probably lose as you would with just about well, any all around board. But it's all about having fun, right? Anyway. Yeah, but speed is pretty good. I do like the slightly pointed nose do find that it parts the water fairly well. As you can see, there's a little bit more um, more parting compared to other all-around boards, something I noticed. I think this is as good a spot as any to do some maneuverability tests. So let's do some backward side paddles here, see how many we can do for 360. And this is with three fins. We tried this with one fin and found that the board is more maneuverable. So nose pointed at the boat and let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's just say 15 side paddles. And now we're going to see how many reverse sweep strokes we can do to do a 360. So let's do it. So about five reverse sweep strokes, which is actually pretty good for maneuverability for a board that has two five inch side fins. So this is actually a pretty maneuverable board, but it tracks very well too, which is actually, it seems Bluefin has a really good sort of sweet spot 
Also, it should probably be noted that I might owe Bluefin a little bit of an apology here. Um, there is still some play to go with this. I think I just quickly set up the paddle, so can go a little bit further. But something that I wish they had was little measurements, you know, how many inches, feet, etc., centimeters. Just have that conversion on there of the different little segments. And, you know, I feel that that would be good because now you always have to kind of guesstimate slash eyeball it. And I also appreciate the paddles that you can actually that slide in so there's like a little groove in there so it stays in the one course you don't have to constantly try to adjust it just a little tweak but overall like this paddle it's about mid-range from what i'm used to so there's some all-around stuffs that have lighter paddles there are some that have heavier paddles this is a fiberglass paddle with a polyurethane blade whoa something just fell off so I was doing my segment there, this little thing fell off. Luckily it landed on the board and not in the water. It's not super important, but even still it does help make the paddle feel a little bit more um, stable per se. So the only thing is I don't have a screwdriver, so I need a screwdriver to hold this guy in. So I might have to fix this when I get to shore here. So what are my impressions of the Bluefin Cruise? I like it. It's, it's a solid all around board to paddle actually. Um, it's a good amount of rigidity. Like once you bounce, it kind of stops, which is nice. Which means they put some good construction materials in there. Also five year warranty, 60 day money back guarantee is one of the better in the stuff industry. Uh, it's similar to Red Paddle actually, which makes premier boards. I like the deck padding as well. Like it's one of the grippier deck paddings that I've paddled on. And it just keeps your feet planted, which is really nice instead of the striped deck padding, which kind of sometimes you kind of have to adjust your feet here and there to get comfortable. This, it just grips onto your feet once you have your feet positioned in a comfortable spot, you're good. And it's also not too hard on the feet either. It's pretty nice. Mind you, I haven't paddled hours and hours on this board yet, so I can update that. Um, yeah, the board has a decent speed as well. Now onto things I think could be improved with this board. Um, I do wish there's measurements on the paddle, but I do like the blade shape of the paddle. It's a little bit more for like a power stroke, which is good. So, but it is a little bit on the heavier side in terms of like an all around, the paddle that comes with an all around board, but it's, it's, it's good though. Better than any aluminum paddle, that's for sure. And I do appreciate the polyurethane blade, be nice. Another thing I would change about this board, if it was up to me, of course, is that I'd have some rear bungee deck webbing and an extra roll at the front. Now I know a lot of subs these days have them, but it just helps so much, especially with storage of items. So yeah, but otherwise do I recommend Bluefin Cruise Tenet 10.8? Yes, I do actually. It's a very nice board to paddle, especially when you have all three fins in there. Tracks well, it's pretty stable, going side to side, pretty good. Good construction. Yeah, definitely worth the buy. Inflatable sub, authority approved. <laughs> so now we're gonna put in a kayak setup. So that little guy there, is supposed to go in there. So let's just put her in. There you go, clip it. Now we're in kayak mode. Okay, we finally fiddled around with the seat a bit to get it right. And now this is the kayak setup. 
So let's see how this board goes. Let me relax my feet a bit. And go up against the more top part. Oh yeah, this is gonna be nice going against the wind, that's for sure. So one thing to note about this kayak setup is that unfortunately for the 2023 boards that are in the US, UK, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Australia, France, if I forgot a country, I apologize. The kayak kit doesn't come with the 2023 Lupin Cruise. Now, back in the past years, they have. The only country where the kayak seat is included is in their newly launched Canadian website. So I'm not sure why that is. But I feel that Bluefin made itself stand out by always including the kayak kit. So I'm not sure why they stopped. Maybe inflation. Everything's so freaking expensive nowadays, I guess. So that could play a part. But yeah, something to note, but if you're really interested in the kayak kit, you can go to the Bluefin website and buy it separately. Just a few more observations, having paddled this kayak setup now for, you know, about 10, 15 minutes now. I do find that you definitely be prepared to get some drips on you, but you know, that's pretty standard with kayak paddles. Um, these guys, they kind of get in the way a little bit of my ideal arm position. No, it's not a big con or anything like that. It's a workaround, and I mean, I realize this is a paddleboard first, kayak second. But I also thought, think that Bluefin would really be aided if they put like a little footrest so that you could put more of your torso in for each stroke. So I'm like trying to kind of bend my feet, but it slides on the PVC kind of. So if they could do something kind of like what Isle did with the switch, where it has like a footrest across there, they'd make it a great kayak hybrid. But I think, as I mentioned, Bluefin is kind of getting away from that because they don't include the kayak seat and kayak paddle with the 2023 models, except for in Canada. Maybe because we're nice, who knows? Or maybe because there's geese, just like over there. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Inflatable Self Authority. As always, really appreciate your views. If you like my content and you thought that it was helpful at least for you shopping for the Bluefin Cruise 108, give me a like and subscribe and I'll keep producing content throughout the summer. We got a lot of exciting stuff coming up, including a specific company that is sending a bunch of boards. So stay tuned for that. As always, peace, good health, happy paddling.